Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm supposed to look like Steve, but I think I look more like Cleopatra. Uh, <laughs> so sorry about that. B babe, tell him the story. Okay. So he has the official Stranger Things licensed merch. Big money right here, boys. I don't because I couldn't find it. Cheap, cheap. But mine's cuter. Right. Hers is so much better than mine. Mine is... I, I'm rocking one of those, you know, those like six pack shirts that you wear. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Even this thing looks terrible on my head. It's all creased up. It looks like... Basically, I look like an ancient Egyptian, I well, think. Besides all that, the Scoop Stroop is ready to watch season four, episode eight. That's right, man. This is the first time I've dressed up uh, for Halloween since I was like a wee little kid. So <laughs> um, maybe it's something we'll start doing on the channel. I know a lot of people go and they dress up like their favorite gladiator before they watch like a Roman movie or just whatever the case may be. I'm not really the type to want to dress up. So if you give this video some love, man, maybe in the future. I'll consider doing it again. But I'll be honest with you guys, these costumes are very pricey and sometimes I'm just not happy with the quality of what I receive. So uh, I'm really sad to finish this series. Yeah, maybe. I mean, with all, all laughing and goofiness aside, this is, series has been incredible. It's been a treat. We are now getting our nine-year-old in on it. He loves it. Um, minus all the cussing on yeah, it, minus other cussing. than that. Right, but I'm ready to make a USS Butterscotch and watch season four, episode eight. All right, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon. We don't really do nothing too special over there. I don't want you guys to get excited. <laughs> We're not over there dressing up like cosplay people all the time. But our Patreons voted for us to dress as this. So right. here we are. Absolutely. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go. Man, with a little extra context. All done. Nothing to be afraid of, is there, Nancy? What in the world? Why don't you take a seat? I wonder if Nancy's now trauma because Barb. I mean, she's got trauma for a lot of reasons. Right, you they know all what I'm do, saying? But yeah. like, for the curse? Nancy, just stay with me. Stay with me, okay? Whatever you guys are doing oh up there, my God. hurry up! Steve says you need to hurry! You can't find anything! Seriously, what is all this shit? I mean, what are you even looking for? Madonna, Blondie, Bowie, Beatles, music! We need music! This is music! Oh God, I don't even know what Nancy would pick. Because Tom Cruise isn't seen. Just want yes. to have fun. What are you doing? It's not time for you to leave. Now you've seen where I've been. I would like very much to show you mm -mm. where I am going. Oh, shoot. Take a seat, Nancy. No, I was not expecting this. How did she get away like Max? Max was strong, just broke through, right? So she had like a knife or something. No, Eleven. I want you to tell her everything you see. Oh my God. That gate was big. Did you see that? That's what's gonna happen. It's okay. I'm right here. Why we gotta start out so scary over oh here? Oh my god. So boys, basically, Nancy <laughs> basically just got got, but Vecna had a message. Yeah, it was like That's when Tyrion crazy. when what did Tyrion say? Tell everyone, you know, what happened here. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I gotta dance to it. You're gonna shake your hat off. What's <laughs> that right here? It's tight as hell. It ain't coming off. <laughs> and it's made of the cheapest materials, so you know it's sticking to my hair with some. 
let's go guys two more episodes and then we're off to depression land for a couple weeks yeah for sure chapter eight papa Guess you got my message, huh? Oh no, I just have always wanted to visit the Soviet Union <laughs> with Murray. You with Murray. Along. He's the star ski to my hatch. <laughs> I thought you were dead. I thought I lost you. Hopper looks like Kane, that wrestler from back in the day. No I idea that I lose you for eight months. We had a funeral. Anybody show? Are you kidding? You're the hero of Hawkins. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I always felt that'd be easier to like when I was dead. How about Elle? She's good. They she have no misses idea. her dad. <laughs> we all do. Uh, I hate to interrupt. Apparently, they can climb too. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I'm not surprised they can. Don't shoot. Please tell me they don't have another one of those things. Oh my god. The guy that said don't shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is in there? Another? Hopper's brave as hell for that, ain't he? The Demigorgon's gonna be telling tales of the tall white aliens for a long time. Yep. Yeah, oh my house. god, look. They've been experimenting on it? How did that work? Because it was a dummy dog. How you know it can't just bust out the glass? How you know that? Oh my God. You're thinking about that Pokemon movie from back in the day, ain't you? Did they bust out the glass? Meal? Something like that. Meal. They like recreate some Pokemon. They look like this. What the hell are they doing? That's that stuff we saw earlier. The hey, green. Found something. Thanks, Margulis. <laughs> That's what you called him. <laughs> Margulis. <laughs> I think this way is out of here. I give it a hundred to one odds. Please don't die. Nose isn't even bleeding. I didn't even think to look at that. Man, they're showing us that nostril boy. Oh, there we go. Now it is. Took a lot more than it used to. Right. All right, time to save the world. She basically just hit a rep, didn't she? She just maxed out real quick. Didn't even slam the bar down. <laughs> He's like, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Oak from Pokemon Snap. Well done. <laughs> no one gets it. I do get it. I get it. <laughs> Let's go, bro, Jonathan. 
Holy shit, dude. I didn't know they expanded into Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, dominoes. <laughs> dominoes, you're gonna fall. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> How far is Nina from Vegas? Another 90 miles, why? We should stop on the way back. Elle could make us like super rich and we'd never have to work. We could just play D&D &D and Nintendo for the rest of our lives. Totally. Like she's gonna be okay. Yeah, I know. I, I know she is. But what if a, after all this is over, she, she, she doesn't need me anymore? Hmm. She'll always need you, Mike. I don't believe it. She's special. Maybe I was one of the first people to realize that. When I stumbled on her in the woods, she just needed someone. It's, it's not destiny. It's just simple dumb luck. And one day she's gonna realize that I'm just some random nerd that that got lucky that Superman landed on his doorstep. No. <laughs> oh. You're scared of losing her. Can I show you something? Oh, that whatever he had. Boys, that's the squad right there. This is amazing. Did you paint this? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I mean, Elle commissioned it. Anyway, my point is, see how you're leading us here? You're guiding the whole party. That, that's what you do. And I know it's sort of on the nose, but, but that's what holds this whole party together. I mean, without heart, we'd all fall apart. Especially Elle. Just, she's so different from other people. And when you're different, you feel like a mistake. You make her feel like she's not a mistake at all. And that gives her the courage to fight. I feel like he's talking about Elle, but speaking about himself. Right. Elle needs you, Mike. And she always will. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Will's that type of friend who always knows what to say. I know. You see the way Jonathan was looking back there? Even Jonathan was like, huh? Jonathan's like, I gotta get off this weed, bro. I gotta grow up. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's back there being an adult. <laughs> oh, oh. That probably made him think about Nancy. After the attack, I fell into a coma, like when you had pushed yourself beyond your limit and it very nearly destroyed you. But that is where your similarities ended. What you displayed that day was beyond anything I'd ever imagined. But when you awoke, something had been lost. Your memories, along with whatever else you'd found within yourself that day. But I knew then, just as I knew today, that your powers had not been lost. It'd be a creepy way to wake up. Spark. But that day, you awakened something else. A doorway to another world. I always thought that Henry was out there, hiding in the darkness. That's why he's in I didn't in know there. for sure, until now. He's claimed three victims so far, and when I saw the eyes, I knew that was him. He was sending us a message, letting us know he's back. That's when I came to see you. My friends. They're all safe. But I'm not gonna lie to you, Eleven. Your friends are in terrible danger. With each victim he takes, Henry is- Getting stronger. Chiseling away at the barrier that exists between our two worlds. Or that. Chiseling. The barrier between our worlds is a concrete dam. Henry is putting cracks in this dam. Cracks That makes so dams. much sense. Create Nancy, pressure. What he told Nancy. Left yeah. unchecked, the pressure will build and the dam will burst. And when that happens, Hawkins will fall. You eased her into it nice and gentle, just like we talked about. Not ominous at all. <laughs> She's like you. <laughs> he showed me things that haven't happened yet. Awful things. A dark cloud spreading over Hawkins. Downtown on fire, dead soldiers, and this giant creature, gaping mouth. And this creature wasn't alone. So many monsters. An army coming into Hawkins, into our neighborhoods, our homes. He showed me my mom. Mm. Holly. Girl. He's just trying to scare you, Nance. I mean, it's not real. Not yet. He showed me gates. Four gates spreading across Hawkins. They looked like the one outside of Eddie's trailer, but they didn't stop growing. And this wasn't the upside down Hawkins. This was our Hawkins. Our home. Four chimes. Back in his clock. Mm. It always chimes four times. I heard them too. He's been telling us his plan this whole time. 
four kills, four gates. They just need Max, right? Mm-hmm. End of the world. If that's true, he's only one kill away. Jesus. Who's he gonna be? Right. Try him again. Ran a few times and went to busy signals. Maybe you punched it in wrong. Try it again. I didn't punch it in wrong. I don't know. Dude, I think she knows how to use a phone. I'm just saying, she could have punched it in wrong. Same shit. How is that possible? This phone's been busy for what? Three days now? Something's wrong. She's right. It can't be just coincidence. It can't be. What is happening in Lenora is connected to all of this. Vecna can't hurt them. Not if he's dead. We have to go back in there. Well, no, no, nope. no, 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 no. Let's think this through, okay? What is here to think through? We barely made it out of there in one piece. Yeah, because we weren't prepared. But this time, we will be. We'll get weapons. What type of weapons? We'll kill him. The only reason that you survived is because he wanted you to. We were wrong about Vecna. H Henry, sorry, w what are we calling him now? One. Right. Vecna. One. Henry, we like learned Vecna. something new about Vecna slash Henry slash one. He's a number <laughs> like 11, only a sick, evil male, child murdering version of her with really bad skin. But my, my, my <laughs> point is, he's super powerful. So then why fight fair? He's like 11. But that gives us an upper hand. We know Eleven's strengths and weaknesses. Weaknesses? When L remote travels, she goes into this trance-like state. About the same is true of Vecna. When he attacks his next victim, I'll bet you he's back in that attic. Physical body defenseless. What about the army of bats? Right? Distract them somehow. And uh, how do we do that? No idea. But once they're gone, he doesn't stand a chance. This plan's risky, boys. Mm -hmm. That all sounds good in theory, but there is no pattern to Vecna's killings. We even know who he's going to attack. Yeah, we do. I can still feel him. I'm still marked, cursed. I ditch Kate Bush. I draw his focus back to me. No Max, he'll kill you. I survived before. I can survive again. Max, you gotta chill. I couldn't I handle just, the last time. I need to keep him busy long enough so that you guys can get into that attic. And then he can chop his head off, blow him up with some explosive dust and cooks up. I honestly, I really don't care how you put this asshole in his grave. Just whatever it is, try not to miss. Yeah, because that's the fourth time. So if they don't get him this time, it could be really bad. I mean, I was thinking it was going to be Max, but it could easily be Nancy, too. Maybe he could come back. She's undelivered the message. Like a little gopher, ain't it? Wouldn't that be so scary if you're just walking by? I don't know. I got the upper hand in that situation. <laughs> I might kick him in the head and knock him back down there. Get back in the hole. But yeah, if I was in the middle of Russia, yeah. Yeah, but don't they have a rabid demigorgon roam in that thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna stay in there long. And it looks invincible almost. Why is there a winger on the wall back there? <laughs> that guy definitely thinks Americans are crazy now. Absolutely. <laughs> He's living his dream right now. We're not out of the woods yet. They'd be hunting us. Yeah, well, was the plane you came in on? Um, that crashed. His fault. A word of warning, Jim. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. <laughs> My son. Can you get us to another plane? You're asking for Yuri's help? <laughs> so you can get us out? For a glass of water. And five feet stack of American dollars. Yuri will fly you to moon. You make another demand, you double-crossing mudak. Why so angry? Come around. <laughs> Rough couple of days. But now you are free. Happy ending for everybody. That will very much depend on how you answer. Will you take us to America? Check this out. Everything you need for, uh, well, uh, killing things, basically. Is that a grenade? I mean, how is any of this legal? Well, lucky for us it is. So we ought to be able to avoid cops and uh, angry hicks. If we're trying <laughs> to avoid angry hicks, maybe we shouldn't go to some store called the War Zone. Normally I'd agree, but <laughs> we need the weapons, so. It'll take all day to bike there and back. Who said anything about bikes? Yeah, it's not exactly a car. It's not exactly a motorcycle. Mine, but uh, it'll do. Uh, you got a ski mask or a bandana, something like that. 
What's that guy's Michael? Michael Myers. Max would have that. <laughs> That'd be scary as hell to see somebody in a Michael Myers mask running around a trailer park. I know. <laughs> Is it <that> RV? <laughs> Suffocating. He's about to just pull off with their house. <laughs> <laughs> the other dads were teaching their kids how to fish or play ball. My old man was teaching me how to hot wire. I swore to myself I wouldn't wind up like he did. I'm wanted for murder, so uh, they're not really living up to that Munson name. Poor guy. <laughs> Harrington's got her. Don't you, big boy? <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're just sitting outside. <laughs> like, who the hell's still in my RV house? True that. <laughs> they're double screwed. And their patio. <laughs> you about top that thing, you about. Made that thing fall over. <laughs> We're going up around the bend. Maybe he'll give him a new one since, you know, he gave Jonathan a new camera. You, you know did. what I should have dressed up like? What? I should have dressed up like Eddie. <laughs> I should have got the wig and the, the Hellfire shirt. Hey, it's not even Halloween yet. The vest. My friends. It's not I Halloween yet. You told me they were safe. Give us a second, please. We're not gonna let anything happen to your friends, okay, kiddo? I will personally make sure of that. Did you see where they were? They were at Max's house. They're planning to kill him, to kill Henry. Does this Max have a last name? Max Mayfield. Okay, okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I have people in Hawkins. No, do not send your men, send me. Your friends are not prepared for this fight, Eleven, and neither are you. Don't hold her hostage. You must understand, when one kills, he doesn't simply kill. He consumes their memories, their abilities. We can only assume that he has grown in strength. To underestimate him would be very dangerous. I don't want to upset you, Eleven. You came to me broken, and you've learned to walk again. But if you want to stop one, you will need to do more than walk. You will need to fly, and you're not ready. Whatever, enough. My friends need me. I'm sorry, you can't. Call Stinson, she's got connections at Nellis. I'll bet we could be in Hawkins before nightfall. That would be a great mistake. Waiting would be an even greater mistake. You know, we pushed her before, and look what happened. You don't understand what he's capable of. Or maybe you are overestimating <laughs> Either way, it doesn't matter, because this is not our choice. We agreed this was not going to be a prison. It is her choice whether she wants to stay or go. Yeah, Doc. Well, you may not agree with it. Are you sure you want to do this? OK, say your goodbyes. I feel like he's not going to let her leave without a fight or something. I feel like he might know a little something something. Well, he knows a lot of something somethings, but. But he has a reason he's trying to keep her there for something something. Or he's being like selfish to keep Elle there to protect him How's from one. I don't know. Not that bad. I always had this dream that I'd have this like this really, really big family. I'm talking like a <laughs> full brood of Harringtons, like three girls, three boys. I figured all of us Harringtons, we would pack into something like this and just see the country end up in some beachside town in California, learn how to surf or something. Well, six kids, you got to go a bigger one than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the six kid part, that sounds like a total nightmare. If only I had some practice. All right. He is like That's... a babysitter. <laughs> yeah. Babysitting Steve. Steve DeCare Harrington. But I always look at Steve. Two of the three effective victims were seeing Miss Kelly, right? Yeah. Okay. We look for mentions Lucas. of headaches, nosebleeds, and Lucas, stop. We don't have time for any of that. And even if we did, we'd be putting a total stranger at risk. He uses my memories against me. Only my darkest memories. Same with Chrissy and Fred, right? It's like he only sees the darkness in us. I'll just run in the opposite direction. Run to the light. Maybe he won't be able to find me there. Now, how exactly do you plan on doing this? I'm not sure. But it's my mind. Not his, right? So I should be able to control where I am, find a happy memory, and hide there. Hide in the light. You got a memory in mind? Happiest. Was I there? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> it's presumptuous of you. Yeah, you might have been there. OK, but the second you start to lift, call in, in Kate Bush. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Deal. <laughs> 
Someone said that she had like maybe like a million views or something like that on YouTube. And then this, they put her music on this show and now she has like almost 300 million views on her video or something. It could be more. I think that's pretty cool though. Good for her. This way. Yes, I don't know what you're doing. You're a tail. 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 You're trapped in a cell with this doll man. And you didn't take opportunity to smother him. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to have that nice plane, ain't he? Oh, man. Helicopter. Beautiful. You said you had a plane. A plane. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I told you I could fly you home. She <laughs> <laughs> was named Katinka after my first lover. Very round buttocks. <laughs> much like this. <laughs> okay, this Yuri can't come. Cannot fly us to America. We can make it to the coast. There, we skin deep in ice cold water and wash up this muck. Then we fly her rest of the way. Happy ending. What is the <laughs> furthest Kachinka has ever flown? For me, she is still a virgin. <laughs> Not real Katinka, Godness, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Hubbard. He is not ready for that. <laughs> she just needs a little tune up. <laughs> he needs to tinko with it. I did warn you, Jim. What about Owens? He, he's got to have contacts or spies here. We make a call to the States. The number. It's 775. 3450. What are you doing? How exactly do you think this works? They will make the call for us, and when we do get the call, assume the KGB will be on the other line, listening to everything you say. So, welcome to the Soviet Union. Didn't he say the Ruskies are at the gate? He'll know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> he can't do that any this time. But like, why is it so busy in there, though? <laughs> is it always so bustling in there? Man, was like the mall. So much for avoiding angry hicks. <laughs> How many of these do you think we need? Five or six. Oh, the oh clear, is that her? The clarinet girl or whatever? You Robin, just stand here and gawk at her. Shut up. So she likes that girl? I thought she was a hick. You gonna mace me with that? That keeps you aligned. Not so scary. Robin, it. Robin. <laughs> Who's that? Someone from band. <laughs> hey, can I see this real pretty 357, please? There you go, oh, son. he's there too. Thank you. Why is that man buying a 357? Yes, you Brother, that thing's gonna kick so damn hard. Who would expect to find you here? Scary times. Sorry about Chrissy. Want my advice? Shotguns are. Not good for much of anything past killing small birds. That's not true at all. But not much range. And that's just gonna force you into close range combat. And someone can just grab that barrel like this and redirect it. She ain't gotta get that close, brother. You don't even have to be accurate with it. I look nervous. Scary times. Now your brother, he uh he here with you by chance? No. He's in hellfire, isn't he? What about his friends? Let go. Oh gosh. So long. Our old friends are here. Shit. Go, let's go, let's go. I'm going, I'm going, sit down. <laughs> Gotta be around here somewhere. What exactly are we looking for here, my dudes? In some sort of facility. More any signs of life would be nice. Since when did we decide Nino is a physical building and not a small woman? A small woman out in this desert would be hard to see. How is he still high? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they're right. You're 100% right? Yes. Maybe the latitude and longitude are wrong. Are you really questioning Susie right now? She's a genius. Even geniuses make mistakes. Well, she didn't. If that small woman is small enough, she could fit behind a small tree. Stop. It's a small door, isn't it? It's not yeah. It is. Uh, the one we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I am stopping us before we get more laws. All right, give me the coordinates. Um, okay. Longitude is 116 degrees, 5 minutes, and 17. Slow down. Slow down. Nina! <laughs> Holy macaroni. All right, you just go straight down. 
Look straight, straight. Right on the money, as I said. It just doesn't make sense. Yo, dudes! My dudes! Jesus Christ. Come check this shit out! What is it? You gotta see it to believe it, my dudes! Come on, hurry! Let's go, go, pronto! So no small woman named Nina, but you shed any signs of life, am I right? These are no regular tire tracks, bro, Chachos. They're fatties. And you know what that means. Military. Army vehicles, yeah. We gotta go. Dang, Argyle was good for something. Let's go. He's not as dumb as they think, huh? I wouldn't do it if I didn't think she was ready. Either way, I don't really think we have any other choice here. Do you? No, I don't. Yeah. It might take me some time, though. Okay, it's gonna take us two hours to get to Nella's as it is. Can you send somebody over to uh, Max Mayfield's house? There are some kids there that just need looking after. Nella? Hello? Sam? Hello? Why the long face, Doc? Damn. I bet. Papa's undermining his ass. He's gonna let her leave. That's probably what he said. But it wasn't. There was that guy that told. Who? Remember that guy? Oh, make sure I'm not confused. What is it? Remember that guy Sullivan was questioning? He was like, tell us where Eleven is. And he said, okay, as long as you don't kill her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. I remember. Where's Dr. Owens? Dr. Owens had a change of heart. That you're right, too. Well, yeah, There's that's what I'm thinking. I can do to stop you from forcing open that door. But if my men hear you coming, they will kill him. <laughs> you and I are going to complete our work together. When I decide that you are ready, we will return to Hawkins together. Papa and daughter. Mm -mm. Yeah, no. Why are you doing this? Because there's no other choice. There is a choice. Only one that is right. And you make the right choices. I try. Did you make the right choice with Mama? She was a danger to herself and to others. She brought a gun into the hospital. She killed a man. A hospital? No. A prison. Everything I have done was for your own good, for your own protection. And Henry. You kept Henry in that lap. Was that a right choice? I had no idea what Henry would do. I loved you. I loved all of you. Even Henry. Yes, I was trying to help Henry. Yes, I cared for him. Even after what, what he did? Yes, because I knew I had failed him. No, nah, because you saw how powerful he was. So this morning, you said you believed he was always alive in the darkness. Is that why I was searching the darkness? Mm. Was I looking for him, for Henry? That's crazy. And we thought it was hell. Russians the whole time. I know. Time. We were focused on the Soviets. Uh, we knew that. Um, Papa does not tell the truth. Friends don't lie, Henry Papa. Henry, who's manipulated you like some puppet, and now you are angry with yourself, and you're taking your anger out on me, and you're risking everything. <gasps> you have risked everything. You have lied. The gate. The mind flare. So many dead. And all because of you. You could not let him go. I came here to try and understand who I was, to see if I, if I was the monster. Damn, Papa, you're the monster. But now I know the truth. It is not me. Mm -hmm. It is you. Mm. You are the monster. I am going to open that door and I am going to leave. If you try to stop me, I will kill you. What does he have in his hand though? Man, you gotta kill him at this point, Eleven. Oh, Can't be sticking needles in nobody's neck. A sedative or something. He didn't get to push it. Not all the way. She's got a little time. You'll soon see the truth, Eleven. <laughs> oh, that's like Vecna. Yes. No. Dang, he's still alive. Yeah, what happened? What's the truth? What are they doing? Making some shields, I guess. <laughs> Is this legal? No. <laughs> Actually, I think it's a felony, but it guarantees one thing I won't miss. How's she feeling? Adorable. 
<laughs> Deadly. We're alive. <laughs> Hear me now. There will be no more retreating from Eddie the Banished. Hey, you're really ready for battle. <laughs> That's what I've been doing the whole series. You get it? Battle. B so they're fighting the bat? No. I thought I had some good ones. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Never change. Dustin Henderson. <laughs> Promise me? Be so much. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. How those uh those spears coming on? <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a basketball game where they blow the whistle when your shoes fall off. Okay, okay, <laughs> for the record, my shoes never fell off. It's kinda hard for your shoes to fall off when you're riding the bench. You you I know. Mm. Tip the one that mattered, plus mom and dad forced me. Mom and dad can't force you to do shit. Well, even though you're a bench riding loser, you're still my brother. Don't do this I mean, part. It just doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? That was Dan Shelter. He graduated like two years ago. You feel all these goodbyes, don't you? I don't care. And I don't understand why you do either with everything that's going on. In the face of the world ending, the stakes of my love life feel spectacularly low. I mean, I get you there, but I still love hope. Not everything has a happy ending. Yeah, believe me, I know. I have this terrible gnawing feeling that it might not work out for us this time. You think we shouldn't be doing this? I think we're mad fools, the lot of us, but, but if we don't stop him, who will? <laughs> it's killing back now. Slash Henry. Slash what? Dang, she's got a neck monitor. That's the thing one had on him. I mean, yeah, not one. The guy that was bullying something. her, yeah. Number two, number two. I know you're angry with me, but it was the only way. What's going on? It's Sullivan. They found us. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. But man, I need to keep them damn helicopters back there a little bit. No, that's good. Jonathan and them are gonna see it, probably. I know what I'm talking about from that guy. I don't want all that dust in my face. I just don't know, man. I'm so confused about all these <laughs> dynamics right here. I guess we're just gonna have to see. Maybe if she runs into two of them, she can handle them. Well, well. Let's try this again, shall we? Where's the girl? Man, we got escape hatches all over the place in the show. Take the thing off her. Take the thing off her. That's all you can do at this point. Oh my God. And that guy can't shoot. Oh my gosh. Hopefully his dying action is to take that off. Come on. We've got the target in our sights. Question permission to take the shot over. Jack, you don't have to do this. So I'm sad. Wait, 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 wait. I can put her in a, a coma. A medically induced coma. These murders keep happening. If you're right, the killing ends and you can pull the plug on her. In fact, I'll do it myself. But if you're wrong about this, God, are we gonna need her. Yeah, just listen, Jack. Yeah. Don't do this. I'm begging you. Take it. You <gasps> son of a bitch! No! Dude. Uh... Green light. Light her up. Chevy, five o'clock. <laughs> the Dutchie. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Ignore it. Ignore the shivy. Take the shot. Oh my gosh, she's about to take that plane, that helicopter down. Oh, and she ain't even got her powers on, brother. So one wants Eleven's abilities, Loki. Yeah, because she's the only thing that can stop him. <laughs> Let's go. Uh. Elle says she ain't putting up with it no more. Mike's over there like, <laughs> oh, snap. And she did all that handicapped. That's crazy. So she's like super strong now. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go whoop Vecna's ass now. I know. Where's he at? Sorry for you, Vecna. What? I know you're about to cry. Mm. Bring you 
It's me. I'm here. Okay. Everyone's here. Oh. <laughs> Will's growing up though. He's like bigger than Mike at this point. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? We gotta get you out of here. The freaking goat. It came off. They're about to find a way to make this sad. Papa. I love it. I want you to know I'm proud of you. So very proud. You are my family my child i've only ever wanted to help you everything i did i did for you i need you to understand that's very complicated right i'm glad it's between them and i don't have to be involved in it Bye, Papa. damn that was harsh wasn't it I mean, in a way, he deserves it. But in a way, it's a complicated. It's so complex. Yeah. Like, that right there is like. If I rewatched the show from the very beginning, it'd be a lot easier to see the black and white, but I'm just stuck in a gray area with that man. Mm hmm. Sullivan was scary. I'm glad he ain't hunting me down. He was like, he's bound to turn and get you, don't he? <laughs> yeah, he's like, we'll handle this somewhere else. Well, it's sad to see him go, but. Hawkins. We need to get to Hawkins. I know, but right now we need to get you somewhere safe. There's going to be people behind us. No, Mike, we need to get to Hawkins tonight. Get, that's over 2,000 miles. We need to find a way. If we don't, they are going to die. Elle, who's going to die? Everybody. What are they going to do? Lucas is like, man, I got to stop hanging out with white people, bro. They get me into some crazy stuff. They're ready for war. That's what I mean. They're back there just looking crazy as shit. <laughs> <laughs> that Lucas is just looking so normal. This is going crazy right now. Hey, that's like the Wonder Woman logo. I'm gonna show him Max. Maybe she's about to do something Wonder Woman like. That was good. Hey, I'm just making stuff up over here. She showed Eleven about Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Are you like that? You like when I point out Easter eggs? I yeah, can, I can do it. I just don't want to be annoying. Because Eleven to me is Jean Grey. Didn't someone say the house is in Savannah or something? Helen. Helen. Man. Guys, if this hey. video gets as many likes as I have chills, we're gonna be a <laughs> we're gonna be a, a growing channel over here. <laughs> okay, guys. So that was Stranger Things. Um, you guys already know how I feel about that show. I thought this episode was genuinely phenomenal. Yes. I loved it. I thought. I just think this epic Whoa. showdown to the season finale is about to just be so freaking crazy, man. We got some character development with Elle. She's, in a Love sense, duck. well, she's become like a young woman at this point, mm -hmm. right? Not only was she in prison physically, she was in a psychological prison, I think, with Papa. And I think that, I just think ultimately, man, Papa got what he asked for. He wanted to make her strong, and that's what he did. And then his, his time was over. But, babe, what do you think about this episode? I think you're kind of right. I think 11, well, 11 Jane figured out through that just like what she really is you know the whole time she's been torn between am i a hero am i a monster right she's determined that she's not actually the monster at all she's essentially the hero she has not been able to embrace her full mm -hmm. power because on some level she is guilty of doing so right right but i do want to say brenner he's a very complicated character because okay so there's like right and wrong right there's right and wrong in life but with brenner he was wrong for doing that to to the ladies and the kids yeah but once that portal opened, you know, he I think he kind of realized just how serious the things he has, like how much of a burden that would be if he was to be like, OK, L, you can go out into the world. You know what I'm saying? Like the that is very dangerous. So in a way, he, I think he was trying to correct his mistake by abusing Eleven, which was not good. So in a way, none of it's good, but I understand if that makes sense. Well, maybe from his perspective, he just knows Vecna. Like maybe he knows Vecna a lot more than I do. So from his perspective, the Vecna situation is what it is. Maybe mm. what I should have done originally was just kill Vecna. But now that Vecna exists and now that he's in the upside down, you can't turn a blind eye to it and be like, well, I've just got to wash my hands of it at this point. Right. You have to finish it out because. And that was another thing was Brenner didn't kill Henry immediately when he knew he was kind of corrupt. He just suppressed him and let him live for some reason. So to me, that's saying that Brenner's not like I mean, I a Brenner's terrible a, person. He's not terrible. I don't think he's a psychopathic sociopath That wants to kill people, yeah. yeah I, I don't think he's that. I just think, kind of like this general right here that we're watching, uh, Sullivan, right? This man's 
I mean, there's some, you know, they're doing some pretty shitty stuff, but at the same time, sometimes shitty things are required and like certain people, you know, thank God there's people to do it. You know, like everyone hates war, but sometimes you got to fight them. Right. You know, so I don't know. That's what I was saying. I'd really guys, I'm going to watch the show again, just so you guys understand. We're me and her. We'll, we'll sit down again and we're definitely going to watch the show. As a matter of fact, man, my son's watching it right now. And um, the thing is, I haven't really watched too many episodes with them, just like the mm -hmm. first couple. But I would love to rewatch it again, which eventually I will. And have a better understanding of how it's all going to play out. So that way I can really look for those complex relationships. Because, because and thinking and back when I'm thinking of Brenner and Eleven's relationship, I know he pushes her. He does push her to do things like, but I can't tell like, you know, we thought he, he was looking for the spies. We thought she was essentially a weapon the whole time, but it turns out he's like trying to either fix his mistake or like, cause his mistake was to not, Kill Henry, basically. It could be one of those situations where multiple things could be true at the same time. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But right. I th he said, you're going to find the truth. And then it was left at that. So obviously there's more to Henry than we know. He would have been more. He could have been more ethical in his decision making could have been different. Had he not been haunted by his failures with number one. Yeah. Does that seem it's, right? It's just like, that's what I'm saying. Like I could sit here and bash Brenner and stuff, but it's like, there's just a lot behind that. When you're watching a show like this and you guys understand for the first time, there's just such a broad layer of trying to come to an understanding. You know, you're you can't really focus in. But when you rewatch a show and you actually know how it's going to play out, then you can start Picking understanding how we got there. Yeah. And I think that's what I need with the show. Because well, as a first time viewer, seeing Brenner just irritates me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like him. He's Papa. He's bad. But in this episode, I started to see glimpses of humanity there was reasoning behind mm -hmm. some of his actions right which i always got that you know i always measured papa as someone who you know someone has to be the one with the notepad in that room mm -hmm. i mean if if people are going to have abilities like that on some level you have to take some type of control over it you can't just let things like that go unfestered because you know there could be people from other countries all that stuff and i just always assumed that he just thought the science was more important than the humanity right yeah right which and essentially i guess I makes him too, a bad guy yeah. but you know, in the grand scheme of things, who's to really say? I mean, if he knows inevitably what's going to happen to Hawkins, is he really a bad guy for enslaving those people to try to prevent it type thing? Yeah, that's not that, thing. not even that that's what he's doing, because I'm not sure. But I mean, there's more we have to learn, obviously, with number one. Number one has a missing piece to why Brenner was like hesitant and said that 11 will know the truth eventually. Mm -hmm. So I guess there's more on that. But but like coming back to what we know, which is like. That episode right there, it was a really good one. Obviously, we can tell something crazy's to come. Hopefully, their plan's executed perfectly. I am really hoping so. I don't even really even know what the plan is. Sneak up on Vecna when he's in that trance-like state and attack, and attack him, but that seems a little too easy, doesn't well, it? Well, they saw him. There's like glimpse of him in a room, and he he was. it looked like the basement of that house right, yeah. or the attic or one of the two, mm -hmm. and he was like connected to all this stuff. So when he's in that trance going on the kill... They're just going to shoot him, I guess. Yeah, Vecna looks like the damn Rap God video. Y'all know what I'm talking about? The one where it, the Eminem Rap God, he no. like plugs himself into all the crap. It just reminds <laughs> me of that. It looks just like the Vecna guy. I didn't know if they, you know, took that little tidbit. Anyways, so basically we got a lot of development, man. Hopper's a free man. Essentially, we just got to get back to the States. And to be honest with you guys, I'm actually kind of disappointed that we haven't gotten back to America yet with Joyce and Hopper because there's a lot of social interactions that need to happen before I'm going to be satisfied with the closure of the season. Right. Well, that's probably why the last episode's two hours. <laughs> it's going to be so good, guys. <laughs> like, it's going to be why. so good. And then obviously, so, you know, they found them a little Russian escape hole, got out. It's just, it's just all about uh, scheming up a way to get home at this point. That tiny little uh, helicopter, that thing looked like something out of a cartoon. <laughs> and I, I'm sure it only holds like one or two people, so... I don't know what um, they're going to do with that. <laughs> and with heavy winds, they can't overload that thing. So we got that storyline going on. We've got Jonathan and then finally got L. Yeah. That was that was bizarre. that was good to see. Yeah, it was good yeah. to see Mike and L reunite. Mm -hmm. uh, another sweet moment right there with Will and Mike. Will's obviously very gay and he's into Mike, you know, and I can understand. I'm just going to reiterate. I mean, that'd be so complicated if yeah. like, you started developing feelings for your best friend. It's something that I can't really relate to. You know what I'm saying? Because I've never had to experience that. So. I just think his character is really nice, man. I like the way that the show is choosing to make him so classy. About yeah. It. Does that make sense? Like, Will's just the classy. Like, he could be example. like, forget L. He could be like, Mike, you don't need L. Right. Like, he could be bitter about yeah, it. Yeah, you know? and he's not doing that at all. A lot of people take, 
a lot of people just don't handle things necessarily in the most classy way. And I just love the way they're portraying Will in this. Uh, Mike seems a little oblivious to it, you know, but um, I think Will's just such a sweet kid, just trying to find his way. That dude's mm. been through a lot. Yeah. He's just been through so much. Um, Robin saw her love interest making out with some dude who looked crazy <laughs> as hell. He looked like a, a bad version of Steve, like a Steve dyed his hair blonde and was like 10 times less cool. Uh, and more weaselly, uh, I guess. Yeah. Um, but that that guy was well. That scene was funny because the way that, that she stared. Oh uh, yeah, that was so funny. Steve's continuing to just be the coolest guy in the world. Uh, Eddie's freaking awesome. I love Eddie. Eddie's a character that I thought was so obnoxious, and I, you know what? I still think he's obnoxious. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that he doesn't live with me, but it would be nice to know him for sure. Yeah. Um, when he told um Dustin don't change it, like the, all those scenes broke my heart because it was Erica and Lucas exchanging like. You know, just like it kind of all seemed like it was a lot of goodbyes to me. It and like, that's exactly the vibe I was yeah. getting. Right. And I hate that. I mm -hmm. hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I think we're going to lose at least another Someone, character or yeah. two, because a lot of people in the comments have said the biggest frustration they've had with this show. Well, not a lot of people. A few people said that their inability to kill off characters in the show is sort of holding it back from making the stakes as high. So maybe we'll lose someone. So maybe it's going to be Nancy. You know, I oh mean, that God. would be kind of shocking. I wouldn't really expect it. But she is under Vecna's curse at this point. Right. Well, I don't think she's under Vecna's curse. I think that was just a warning to Eleven. I, I still think Max is under Vecna's curse, though, because she said she keeps hearing Vecna. Well, uh, she said she heard Vecna, too. Right, but I, I, don't, I, I don't feel like Nancy's under the curse because Nancy's not getting the headaches and the nosebleeds. Just let us know. Is she under the curse, or did Vecna just draw her in just to send a message? I mean, obviously, he wanted to send the message, but... Is she technically under the curse? Just let us know. Right. I, mean, I ain't never been under it, so I don't know what it feels like. Right. I guess they're just going to have to make a trip in the next episode to the Upside Down. Jonathan in this episode had a very, very, very important role to play. He drove the car and looked sad. <laughs> and that's about all he did, which really pisses me off because I'm a big Jonathan fan over here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got the poster. You guys just can't see, but I do got the iconic Jonathan poster. I like to look at it when I'm editing, when I'm feeling uninspired. And basically, I'm kidding, guys. I'm joking. But anyways... They need to do something with Jonathan's character because this brother is getting boring. And I love Jonathan. Like, I, I'm only mad because I love the He's dude. got hard replaced with Eddie, didn't he? He got, he got hard, hard replaced. replaced. Like, he's like, like, he's not happy. <laughs> you know, you know, how John, you know how he'll be looking. He is not happy about it at no. all. Eddie came in, hopped on the table and took his damn roll over. <laughs> uh, let me know. Maybe he's smarter after the producers in real life or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, somebody did tell me that he got in trouble with some weed or something in real life. Remember? Jonathan? Yeah. And, and that's so why it's funny that he maybe he's, he's in the doghouse with the producers <laughs> and stuff. Because so if you don't know the story, man, look it up because I'm about to tell it to you. But my version is completely not right. But he got caught at some type of border, like a, like an airport or coming from Canada or there, something like that, man. Let me know. But uh, he got caught with some Dutchie the from the on, left hand yeah, side. He had yeah. a lot of Dutchie on the left hand side. Right. So. Um, <clears throat> it was that was all kinds of Dutchy, and they they just got him, and I don't know, dude. He just hasn't he hasn't had any lines yet. I I, I wasn't sure if that was like in between seasons. Like, they even took his girl. They they're making his girl flirt with Steve <laughs> over here. Like they're doing Jonathan terrible. They said you better keep it legal over here, boy. Right. But guys, this episode was great. Like I, you know, there are scenes in it where I thought if someone was to just show me little glimpses of like helicopters and the and the um desert i would have never guessed that was a part of stranger things i would have never in a million years yeah i would have thought that was like iron man one or something yeah like that. yeah it's a big contrast going from the forest of georgia where they film and pretend it's hawkins to the desert you know because trust me we ain't got no deserts around here mm -hmm. man. that's for damn sure uh so yeah really cool scene and i just think that ultimately i would love to see hopper and joyce and um murray get home i would love yes. to see them get home i think murray, and i even think bring Morgulis. Right. You know what and I'm Mikhail. saying? And Mikhail. Mikhail. Yeah, bring Morgulis. <laughs> uh, maybe he'll tell Elle that a girl is no one. So I think the thing is, is they're so much funnier, you know, particularly Murray. Mm -hmm. Murray's at his funniest when he's interacting with these kids because... He's so would, annoyed with them. <laughs> well, I knew a guy like that growing up. His name was Blue, and he was a straight, just a dope head, right? And he had one of those, uh, those Volkswagen bands, and he's just a weird fellow, man. Had, like, Playboy magazines all in it. I don't know how the hell I knew him. But anyways, <laughs> when I was a kid, there was a guy like that. And um, he just reminds me of Murray. If Murray was like significantly weirder. <laughs> Murray's a way cooler dude than this guy was. This guy should have probably been on a registry or something. I, I really but like Murray, though. Murray goes hard, dude. Yeah. I just think he threw me off so hard in the beginning. But seeing him interact with these kids is the funniest damn right. thing to me. Because 
<laughs> I just think he's at his best. I think Hopper's at his best when he's talking to yeah. the kids because Hopper's personality is someone who just gets very impatient with kids. Yes. And so it's so funny no, to see. He's just impatient in general. <laughs> right. Uh, babe, on a scale from one to 20, what would you give the show? A solid 20? 28, man. This show is so good. This show is so good. It's, you know, I just wanted to get that on record. If you even want to think about, you could even go to plot holes and stuff. It's not worth it. It's just not worth thinking about plot holes and stuff like that. Well, it's such a, this is the type of show that doesn't demand that people scrutinize the plot holes. When you're watching Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones is something that you could literally, you know, they used all the great battles in history. They used the history books. They use, they just use a lot of stuff to put that together in a way. And so when you see little plot holes in it, it was just, they were really noticeable, I guess, in yeah. a way, you know, because the show sort of demanded that you were going to have intellectual perfection in a way, mm. especially early on. But with this show, it's never really asked that of me. Right. Know? I mean, if there was, if I had to do one, but I, you know, there's a whole nother season, so this could be different. The one plot I would have, I would have is Elle's sister. I just felt like even when we were doing all that, like, in the down, you know, when it showed all those memories, I didn't see much of her. I guess she somehow snuck out. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, so that's the only thing. Like, they showed us her a little bit, and I was hoping maybe she would circulate back to, like, but she, it could be next episode. I don't know. Yeah, uh, she must have got caught with some weed, too. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and that Machine Gun Gelly guy, too. <laughs> oh yeah, that guy was a freaking loom. But yeah, that that episode, you know, I was I'm waiting for that one to because I in Stranger Things I feel like everything's intentional. So yeah, so far it has been at least. But this was just good, and I did realize also it was that Vecna who got Billy. The Th mind flare is the mi mind flare and Vecna aren't the same. We'll talk more about that later. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We we just need to know more. I mean, because I would think so. When I he would... said he got all their abilities, he said there was four deaths. Billy wasn't on that list. But when he got all their abilities, I was thinking, okay, maybe they got Billy's memories, Billy's this, Billy's that. Mm -hmm. I, I thought that might have had the reason why Max was affected. I... But doesn't it seem like Vecna? But what you're saying is it seems like Vecna is like the OG of that place. Right. Like the first bad guy and the last bad guy, the one who's been right. in control of everything. Because he's, he's the one constructing that world in a way. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. Like, I mean, I know the show's not rocket science. Is, is I know the show's not rocket science, but at the end of the day, like, I never claim to be very smart. So I'm just sitting there trying really hard to just understand what's going on. And and sometimes I do feel like I miss things, you know. Right. When there's a bunch of veiny creatures, I I really get a little lost there because somebody very... let us know in the comments. Not to interrupt you, sweet no, mama, you're good. But let us know in the comments, man. What exactly is going on? Like, how is the mind flare related to Vecna? Was the mind flare? its own entity the same way a demigorgon would be his own entity and then it was ultimately defeated or taken in by vecna or something just let us know right because the mind flayer was trying to gather up an army nancy mentions an army vecna has i feel like my gut is telling me that vecna is like a general like a flayed but the biggest general i don't know maybe that's how vecna chooses to make his attacks is through curses and stuff yeah. Victor Krill created the Mind Flayer. Victor or Henry? Same guy. Oh, wait, no, Henry. In Stranger Things, Vecna and the Mind Flayer are one and the same. Vecna's transformation into a mutilated and burnt creature in the Upside Down led to him being named Vecna. He then uses connection. I don't I don't want to read anymore, guys, because I might get a spoiler right. there. But basically, Vecna created him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, so Henry won Vecna is essentially like the Upside Down's god. Right. Well, yeah. I don't know. We're going to have to see because I don't even know where the Demigorgons came from at this point. Maybe they were created also. I feel like they were just like, I feel like Demigorgons are like, you know how we're here and we're humans? Mm -hmm. Demigorgons are like the humans of down there, maybe? Yeah, maybe so. Or something like that. Uh, guys, let us know if we're completely off, man. Uh, I feel like for the most part we're following on, but that part can get a little complicated. Just But to, what about the Russians, though? What about Remember, them? they had, they have been... I can't tell if they've been churning them or studying them. The things. And, and they, why is that one so advanced? And why is that whirlwind? Why did they have that, that big thing? And they've been bringing it to the U.S. Oh, sorry. Well, that's they've what been I'm bringing saying. it to the U.S. through the mall. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. Like, there's still a lot of things that we're not sure. And so, like, when I see the Demogorgon on his hind legs like that and, you know, a demi dog, sure, one shot, boom. But this thing right here is damn near indestructible. Mm, and he's just so lurking. I'm just wondering, like, are the Russians like genetically modifying them? Or are they using them right. to like start an army to like maybe drop them into the US because they know a secret way to kill them? 
Are they going to drop them into the U.S. and then release like bombs from above to like pollute the air in a way that is going to suffocate them? I just don't know. That's man. my thoughts, though. We're going to sit here, put all our resources, time and effort into whooping Vecna's butt. And then in Russia, that guy's still going to be in the jail. Or if they close it, maybe he dies. I don't I don't know, because I feel like he's modified. So I don't know. I know we sound crazy, but when you watch a TV show and you're like, oh, that's crazy. Can't wait to see what happens. And you don't really have to sit there and ask these questions. It's just a lot easier to not And you can keep them to questions. yourself, you know? You don't have to yeah, tell Yeah, we have anybody. to say it. So if we sound a little <laughs> off, man, then I'm so sorry. If you guys watched it the first time, we're just like, got it. Sure. Yeah. Then, But no, when I saw those guys in that water, I was like, they're either being genetically modified. So then they might not be affected by the upside down at all. So if they close the gates, it might not even affect them. Right. Or they could be generating their own upside down. Right. Because at the end of the day, we still don't even know what the upside down is. Right. Like we haven't even got the answers to the most basic questions of, you know, reality and the upside down on the most fundamental level. So it's just really hard to know. At this point, all options are open. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put it this way. You know, it's a good TV show when you don't know how it's going to end. I'm assuming there's going to be a showdown with Vecna, obviously. Mm -hmm. Uh, I say, obviously, it could. I mean, it could not even way. be this season. It could be right. next season. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He could be the ultimate end game. Vecna could be over next episode, and there could be a whole season. I know. What if it's like the long night where <laughs> where we we stress about this upside down all these seasons? Oh, and then they just shut it, and in it 10 just seconds. ends in right. <laughs> in one little stab. She's all like, "Lift your swords up. We're gonna put them on fire." <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "Oh, okay. Well, this is about to be easy then. What are we stressing for?" Turns out we can just make our regular still fire. <laughs> Don't even need the damn dragon glass. But anyways, not to keep bringing up Game of Thrones, but when you're talking about greatness, man, it's hard to talk about Jordan without talking about Bron. It's hard to talk about Tom without talking about Peyton. You know what I mean? You just got to talk about the legends, you know? It's just really hard to compare the show to anything we've seen so far because I don't think anything's quite hit the mark other than Game of Thrones for sure. Right. I really think this show is all time, man. Uh, I'm I having know. a damn good time. Guys, we're going to be back with the uniforms. I'm going to no, wear... No, we have to wear finale, finale fit. So you're telling me I just wore this junk for no reason? Y'all yeah. know how itchy? Y'all know the y'all know the rash I'm gonna have on the back of my neck because of this? I was gonna take it and rub your eye with it, but I didn't want your eye to fall out. Good. Anyways, we don't know where this material came from. It don't feel like any I've ever. The worn, upside so. down. That's where it came from. It has this weird stretching property, but not really. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't really get it. It's like you would think it was like athletic, but it's definitely not. I don't think I can move my shoulders in this. Anyways, man, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon. Come hang out with us on Discord, all that stuff. You know, look at our socials. Uh, whatever we got posted down there is what we got. I don't even remember at this point. But uh, <laughs> just hit us up where you can, man, for sure. Hit us up on Patreon. Message us if you guys want to say what's up. Hit me up on Discord if you guys want to talk about whatever in the heck, man. Uh, we'll see you guys on next If time. you guys have a better costume idea, hit us up, too. <laughs> guys, when I was a kid, y'all see this eyebrow? This girl told me one time my eyebrow was throwing up the peace sign. I know. Why Why is that stuck with you so much? You talk about it all the time. <laughs> well, because I was just at an impressionable age. And then you think these eyebrows are tough. Now, you should have seen them when I was like eight. They basically stayed the same size, but my face was smaller. <laughs> so they used to be like this big on my face. I used to look like I used to look no, like I was ready for the winter. Hold on. Hold on. Way. I don't know what you look like. Hold on. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hmm. If y'all had something to do today, guys, I'm so sorry. She wants to take all day. No, no, no. Uh-uh. This is going to irritate me, boy. Like a wee character? Yes. There's the... there's. This... Anyways, guys, the, the wee character with the big eyebrows. Y'all know who I'm talking about. It's not any of these people, though. Guys, it's not this. <laughs> but it's not those. There is this one that has these strong eyebrows, and he's boxing, and he's always like... I was blessed with lots of hair here, and not a lot here. I'm just playing. I can actually grow it. I can grow it out pretty good, but I have to shave it every day. Don't I? Because mm -hmm. if, sh if I don't shave it, you what? It's prickly. And you don't like it, do you? It's prickly. So you hate it? No, I don't hate it. It's just prickly. She and I like, I like kisses that aren't prickly. Anyways, guys, we'll see y'all in the next one, man. That was fun. Uh, bye.